Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices. We'll be looking at the S&P and also the NASDAQ as well. And uh, just the start from the bigger picture here, always good to remind us where we are. And um, coming back into the year 2000, the tech stock uh, top, uh, then A wave and a B wave and a C wave of primary degree to make cycle wave four here. So we've got wave three here, wave four here, and we're going up for uh, wave uh, five here of cycle degree of super cycle five as well. So uh, we're looking for five waves from wave four to wave five here, our primary degree of wave one and two and three and four. And we're in the later stages of this fifth wave here. So we're looking from wave four to wave five here um, of five waves of intermediate degree. We've got wave one and two in and we're top of wave three. We're in wave four now. Once that completes, then we're up for wave five. Wave fours uh, are normally more uh, complicated than their previous wave twos. So if wave two is simple, then wave four is more complex. So the same goes in here as well as one and two here and three and four here. So we don't really know what we're dealing with in wave four here, if it's going to be really simple or it's going to be really complex. Uh, as such. So we need to be uh, flexible, open-mindedness, and really it's about um, <clears throat> not so, the Elliott wave is important of course, but I find that trade signals uh, are important, trading what you see at the time. If you get a signal, you take it. So um, on that basis, we can move into, um, well, we'll go to the weekly chart. So the weekly chart wave four here, we're moving up. So from this primary wave four, we've got one and two here, and then we've got five waves, nice, long, strong third wave here for, for wave, intermediate wave three. And we're looking for an A and a B and a C wave here for wave four. But what we don't know is like how complicated this is going to get here, or is it going to be simple? So there's factors, we need to look at everything, you know, so it could be a fact that the move down through here can go straight up from here into wave five here. So we need to be mindful of that and we need to trade, you know, long signals at that point. Uh, currently we're uh, at this roughly the supply level, the 61.8% mark uh, within here. So we're kind of expecting a turn down yet uh, here. And we have seen a little turn here, as you can see on this chart here, on the weekly chart, but it's not, it's, it, it, um, it's not s significant enough just yet to, um, when I mean significant, uh, let me just sort of clarify that a little bit. You know, when we've got, when we've got the turn, the top here, and we've got the turn down from, from here, um, we can see that we'll get uh, one, I need to go to another chart to do that. So let's just um, go to the four hour chart, see if that's any. So this will be a bit easier to draw on. So we're looking at all of this as um, one, two, three, four, and five here for wave A, and then A and a B and a C here for wave B, coming back up into the 50, 60% area mark here. And then we're looking for a turn down uh, for wave C here, so we're looking for the A, the B, and the C here. And you know, the thing is, is that if we get from the top here, if we get f if we get an impulse wave down, which is one, two, three, four, and five, if we get that, which we did to this point in here, right, then we know that we're going to get some sort of uh, A, B, C correction in here, and then we're going to get another five waves down, which we did. We got to this point here. That sharp move down through here is the wave five here, and it's a very telling story in that it was quite, you know, because when you normally get an A, B, C correction, an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave uh, here, normally um, when A, B, C correction, the A wave is the sharp one, and then the B wave, and then the C wave is normally more of an angle uh, coming in here, and that shows us that it's the the, white, the the more angle that is, the stronger the market, the next move to the upside is going to be from that point, you know? Um, but if it's really sharp like this here, then it's displaying the fact that we could be going into a third wave here, so down for one, back to two. So, so 
in the region when we've got the first five waves here, we know that we're going to get a correction, then another five. But after that, we don't know as such because it can just go up from that point in terms of an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave. And that's kind of what we've got now. We've got an A down to here, a B, and a C wave to this point. So really, we need to go short along here, and we need to go long above here. So I can present two cases here of going long, going short, based off this correct, correctional move here, because we're in wave four here. We're not in a trend, you know. We're not in a, you know. We're not. We don't know if we're in a trend, you know, normal trend going to the upside or to the downside, because we don't have enough information for that. So um, what we can use is, um, you know, what we have at the time. So I think it's best to be, you know don't get stuck on being long or getting stuck on being short. That's always a mistake, um, being open and, and taking the signals there. Because at the end of the day, it's about being on the right side at the right time. Uh, and there's techniques to get you to that space. Um, you know, there's also, you know, if the market wanted to just trend straight up from here, from this A wave here all the way up, I mean, that's possible as well. It's, it's like this can be the A wave here. This can be the B wave here because where 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 that wave four is because it pulled back up sixty one point eight percent and then this can be down here. I mean that's also a possibility. So that would make this up for one, back for two, up for three, back for four, and then up for five here. So there is a case for taking that up there. And if I can point that out on the Nasdaq, now I don't know if it's right. It's just an alternative count. Um, so here we can look at this being five waves down for wave A, then a B wave and the C wave down to here, and then up for one and back for two and three and four, and then up for five here, and then carrying on further up from that point. So five waves up, three waves back, five waves up. Um, you know, and the other point is, is that from this high here, not that it's a big deal within a wave four here, but it's just something, you know, is that this is the 61.8% mark here, and currently, it's got support on that now, hasn't it? So if where it should be the resistance, like over here, but it's got support. If it moved down through here and became the resistance, by all means, we'll be in. Uh, you know, we could trade short from that point, like we did over here. So if I just copy that, we could go short under here, and we can go long above here. So there is account for that. I need to look at everything and explain everything to you and then, um, you know, justify why we should take a signal and so on. So uh, moving this back across here, I'm just going to go to the hourly chart now and we'll move into the tick chart as well. So you know now that um, why I could have this as a wave four here because it can be an A wave to here, a B wave to here and a C wave to here for wave four. So we need to go long above there if I could just grab that as well, copy that, just put that in and basically short under there. So I hope that makes uh, some sort of sense. And uh, let's see what comes out of the gates. Now, I just want to talk about this in here a little bit on the intraday chart here. So we know that this can be an A and a B and a C. We also know it can be wave one, wave two and wave three up here and wave four coming to this point. So we could have it at the top as wave B here and moving down to wave C. And in that case, we'll be looking to short there. If group two here, by the way, becomes the resistance here, start adding in here too. So the first one is the 2672 here, um, 2672. Um, if that becomes a retest of resistance, uh, um, you know, add to that position. If the 50, when the 50 becomes the resistance, um, add, add that as well. Also two is always good to take this low here that previous high here up the top there and look for the 50 60 percent mark here because you're going to get a lot of support in this area here if the market moved down so just be mindful of that area there but we know that the 2650 is really important the 65 number of the courts halfway between the 500 and the 800 here which are the Fibonacci levels that we use as price ratios so this always plays out really strong and, and as you can see through here so this all this through here will be the dominating number over here and will reflect in price patterns over here as well so you don't make don't jump don't pull the trigger too quickly over here allow you know all the moves to play out before moving into it because there will be consolidation there but as I mentioned I want to move into this little area here and I'm just going to go into the tick chart to do that. Might have to go into 
extend that out for one hour. So basically, if we can look at this from the top of wave B here, we can look at this as one and two and three and four and five here. And I've made a mistake there, not the first one I've ever made, but uh, wave A, wave B, and wave C up here to make this wave B here, and then down for wave C. The only thing I don't like about that is that wave C is really sharp, so really, uh, if I was looking at this, can I grab that? So the other count here, we've got time, we can just shoot the breeze on this, it's always, this is just another way to look at it on the bearish side. So we could look at this, so we know that we can look at this as an A wave in green, B wave and C wave here. And then this, this little move here counts for five waves up here. So really, if it was a bearish market, that should be a corrective pattern here. But I'm not that too fussed about it at this stage. And this comes down as an A and a B and a C wave here. Oh, I'm glad that's finished off here now. So I can put that under here because I was looking for one more move down. Um, so yeah, five waves here, three waves here, there's one and two and three and four, well that will all be four in there in some way or another and wave five here. So we shouldn't, and that's also from that low to that high here, that's the 61.8% right on the 27 here. So I'm suggesting that we can look to go long. So um, this that 272 is going to be really important. So if that becomes the support, go long, okay? Simple as that. That 272 is a tested support, that's long, and anywhere under here is short. So we can look at, I can't draw on this side here, unfortunately, but if this moves through here again, it's going to come back and retest it here. So then you can use that, uh, put the order under here to go short, and also look to add under here as well, okay? So I'm just going to, clear this up here yeah I like I, I like this a B and C what I like that I like it for the reason that this is five waves up here if this was a clear three waves up here then I'd be a bit concerned but it, it appears to be five waves up here the only thing I don't like about the a the B and the C is that the C wave is sharper than the a wave here so I don't like that, that makes it more of a bearish picture. So this would be down to one at this point here, A, B, C for two over here, and then this this here can be, copy that there, and copy that there. So over here would be wave two, oops, so daisy, bigger that, wave two, and this would be wave one here, of course, and um, would be going down into, so wave one, wave two, and wave three coming down into here. So it should move back quite quickly uh, through through here. So if this was going to, let's just say that I've made a mistake somewhere, this will be really important here to, to look at. Let's just put that in here. That there, that should be the resistance to the upside. And it's really important that um, if you go long here, then the stops are under the 2700 here. Because if we're going to go short here, then this would be wave one and two here. And then we go down for blue wave three here. And in blue wave three, we'll be looking for five waves of, of the green wave here. So wave one, wave two. And then we would be also looking for, if I can copy that, that wave one here and wave two here. So it could move really quickly through here. So one and two and one and two and one and two, and then it'll be the third of the third of the third coming down here. So it'll be really powerful. So if you do go long up here in this space here, make sure you really, you know, there's a fine line between the resistance, the, the 272, there's a fine line, it's a fine line, you know? So as a tested support, it's trading long, normally would go long on, on top of 27.30, and that's fine to do that as well. That would probably even be safer. Let's just put that up there and remove that for a moment because you'll need to really know what you're doing to get into that space here. Um, so 
yes, it could move very quickly to the downside here. If it if it basically locks under the 2700, then look for the short trades, okay? So if you see it sitting above here and here, then look at going long from that point, and that will cover us uh, in that instance. So I'll just leave it at that. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.